Hi friends, welcome to Kalpana's Kitchen. Today I will be showing you a very very typical Maharashtrian recipe that is called Pitla. Okay, it is uh, the ingredients for this recipe. I have taken just half a cup of gram flour that is 10 as a peat. Then I have taken one onion, chopped it fine. Then here I have taken fenugreek seeds, very little. Then uh, mustard seeds, jeera, hing and uh, turmeric powder, green chilli, chopped green chilli, curry leaves, uh, water of course you need a lot, salt as per taste and coriander leaves for garnishing. Okay, so first thing I will do is, I have taken one tablespoon oil. Now I will add, to this I will give this fenugreek seed. Fenugreek seeds are little bitter in taste, so use very little. It's just for the flavor. It gives a very good uh, flavor to the vegetable, to the dish. Okay, now I added uh, fenugreek seeds and uh, mustard, uh, this uh, rai, that is mustard seeds. Okay, now they're crackling now. I kept it on uh, slow fire, okay, so it doesn't burn. Then I am adding jeera. Then green chilli as per how you are uh, in the house you have spicy food. According to that, according to your choice of spice, I have added chilli. Then uh, curry leaves. And now hing and turmeric powder. To this, I will now add the onion, chopped onion. It's only one onion, okay? As the onion is being cooked here, I will mix the, I will make the batter with the gram flour. Now I have taken half cup I said uh, gram flour and I have taken nearly two cups of uh, water. You need a lot of water. Now this uh, uh, pitla, there are different ways of preparing this pitla. One is a dry pitla and uh, this is a little watery pitla. Okay, dry pitla is good when you are uh, traveling, so they carry this pitla and bakri. Uh, but I like this <coughs> with a lot of water. I still to add the water. Just try and get the lumps out. Now after the onion is cooked, I will add this and uh, salt. This is eaten uh, with bhakri. I was too fast in adding the water. You have to add the water slowly. So these uh, less of these lumps are formed. Or at least strain the, uh, sieve the basin. Mm. There are many uh, point, uh, this, uh, tips I know but uh, I don't make it, bring it to use as I am in a hurry to uh, complete my uh, uh, do uh, complete my lunch. In the morning, it's a lot of rush, like okay. So now uh, you can see the water and the this is dissolved. One minute, huh? I've taken. So I've taken only one cup. Huh? I've, I've said two cups. Now let's see. If I require more, I will add because this is half cup I have taken. Okay. I will add uh, salt as per taste.
some like a little sweet so they add jaggery there are different variations in this pickle as i told you this is the way i prepare it okay the onion is half cooked now and i will add this batter that i prepared so i think i have taken one and a half cup of water so for half cup uh, besan i have taken one and a half cup water okay so quite a lot of water i have used three times the quantity of besan <laughs> even i was not aware of this because i just do it without measurements i could uh, just to show you i have to be really cautious with the measurements okay now i will wait and uh, let this uh, gram flour cook in this and uh, one or two boils and it's ready and then i will add the coriander garnish okay now i will i can now uh, high flame have kept now all this time it was on slow flame keep stirring so that it doesn't uh, get burnt in the bottom and uh, the lumps are not formed see it started getting thick you can see you can have this with uh, bhakri of course it's a lovely combination bhakri and pitla bhakri it's a famous uh, maharashtrian dish and you get it in the interiors in our villages and all that and uh, otherwise with uh, fulkas or even with rice you can eat this you know so i just love it sometimes and it's really convenient for me and if i don't find any vegetable in the house i sit and i, I prepare this pitla see so you can see now the gram flour is cooked now if you wanted a little more uh, uh, wa like uh, this watery you can add more water it's all on your taste okay and uh, if you want to make it dry then of course you have to put very little water but i don't like dry pitla hmm. see so now now i was as i was preparing i found that no i want the consistency little more in the liquid form because with bhakri you know it's a uh, nice to have this uh, consistency for bhakri if i want to eat it with bhakri with fulka it was okay see hmm good aroma and now i will prepare the bhakris there you can see it's ready now my ani uh, this uh, the coriander leaves i had kept i washed the coriander leaves in water and now i will add the coriander leaves as a garnish for this okay see it's ready pickle is ready it just didn't take any time okay now let me see the water i have used okay i have used one and a half cup uh, water okay with a measurement and uh, half cup besan that is gram flour and my pitla is ready you can serve it hot with bhakris and you will just love it now to add this coriander leaves 